All right, time for the next stage here. With that Roller Master we're gonna be taking on being Gravity Man. Let's see what we got here. Gravity Man is a weird looking robot master, man. He's probably the weirdest looking guy we've seen so far. <laughs> His body shape and design just looks pretty weird. And the gimmick here with this stage is not very apparent at first. You see these weird looking arrows here that are pointing down and you're like, well, what the heck does that mean? But uh, as you'll see, those arrows tell are a major part of the gimmick for this stage. And here is the gyro attack. Kills those guys pretty easy. It's probably going to be my weapon of choice here. And this is when the gimmick starts. Look at that. Whenever you touch one of these arrows here, that's what determines what type of gravity it is so right now the gravity is making us go to the ceiling or it'll make us go back down to regular gravity and wow yeah gyro track has a lot more ammo but these enemies take quite a few more hits actually the best type of weapon to use here is a napalm bomb look at that shit because of the gravity look at this this is weird right now <laughs> i'm pressing up yeah, I'm pressing up to go down the ladder in a way, or I don't even know what. <laughs> I guess okay. I'm, go I'm pressing down to go down slash up the ladder, and I'm pressing up to go down. It's very strange here in Gravity Man stage, but it's very cool. It's actually one of the, a lot of people's favorite stage in Mega Man Five is Gravity Man's, and I can definitely see why. The music is okay. I'm not the biggest fan, but hey, it's there. Napalm Bomb, very useful for a lot of these guys here. Along with Gyro Attack for a few of them. Can slowly travel on the ground and kill those turrets that are right there. Look at that, more ammo for that. Slowly travel, there you go. Boop, boop. Uh oh, another one of these assholes kill his ass very quickly thanks to Napalm Bomb. Once again, and I'm gonna use Gyro Attack here. Here it kinda gets a bit more tricky because you gotta jump right at the point where gravity is gonna start sending you up or else you're gonna fall straight into that pit. So very careful there as you'll see here whoop gravity man stage is a really cool game I, I really like this stage oh here you gotta be careful though oh i thought i didn't make that shit there <laughs> oh that could have been bad Freaking everyone going up and down and back and shit. It's very cool, very interesting gimmick. Dun, 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 dun. Eh. This scene is okay, I guess. I don't know, maybe remixes of it are better, but it's okay. Oh shit. Do not have gyro attack to kill those guys. Oh shit. Oh my god, this guy. Because of freaking gravity, it's so weird. <laughs> Anyway, oh yeah, I didn't know if I mentioned this, but in order to slide when it's like when gravity's like this, you have to freaking press up. Yeah, you have to press up and jump, not down and jump in order to slide how it usually it is. Oh shit, I almost died. I forgot about those spikes. <laughs> Again, a, a very cool gimmick. And also, it's not only in the stage, but it's also in the boss fights. Alright, he's gonna be sending the gravity up and down. He's gonna be trying to gra crash into you when he does that with the gravity. And all the while, he's also gonna be shooting at you. But I'm gonna be honest, he's also a very easy boss here. Just gotta be careful. Watch where he is and make sure you're not next to him when he does the gravity thing. You should be okay. You just gotta get. Mainly, the main thing with this fight is it's all about the timing of when you gotta shoot the buster, because mainly you wanna do it when he uh, sends the gravity upwards or whatever, you know? 
are when he when he's just switching the gravity in general is when you want to shoot him. It's very hard to hit him with regular pellets, so I would suggest always using the charge buster for that fight. Again, the Mega Buster fully charged kills a lot of the enemies in this game, even the bosses very quickly, which is why Mega Man 5 is quite easy. Uh -huh. Oh, and here is a pretty cool ability, or weapon, I need something, abilities, they're weapons. Anyway, uh, Gravity Hold, and what Gravity Hold does, basically it reverses the gravity for all the enemies on screen. So it sends them basically up into the atmosphere <laughs> and freaking into space. And mainly it's effective against enemies that are airborne. So it's like the anti-air weapon for this game because a lot of the air ba- Oh shit, I just pressed continue. Uh, crap, I can't get out. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's something that happens by accident. Sometimes you'll hit freaking continue. Instead of stage select. Whoops. Oh well. But uh, anyway. <laughs> I'll get through this stage I guess again. But um. Yeah gravity hold is very useful. Maybe I can show it off here. Uh, can I? Let's see. It'll be easier for me to just show you what it does. Instead of me actually doing it. But There you go. Sometimes with the tougher enemies, and especially enemies that are like stationary based, it takes a couple of uses of the gravity hole to get them sent flying into the air, but yeah, basically all weak airborne enemies will instantly get killed by that attack. It's a very useful, it's a, it's a screen nuke weapon basically. Um, I don't know if we've had any other screen nuke based weapons in Mega Man really. Um. I don't, in Mega Man 1, definitely not, 2, no, 3, no, 4, no, so this is the first time that there's ever been like a screen nuke type weapon in a Mega Man game where it just hits all the enemies on screen, it is very good man, a very good Robot Master weapon, anyway. <laughs> Um, I'll get through this stage and uh, I'll see you guys in the next Robot Master 